I don't want my precious daughter going back to a man who doesn't treat her right. Huh? Kiwon is not your mother. I know that. Mom, that's a little quick. My name is Hyun. I'm a housewife and mother to one-year-old twin girls. Although my children now sleep throughout the night, the amount of activities they get up in the day has increased, meaning I'm exhausted every day. F finally, they napping. <sighs> I'm so tired. And now I have to do the housework. This is tough. I did ask for this, but raising children is really a battle. After all this, my body is feeling so sluggish. I should probably check my temperature. This isn't good. I don't have time to be broken. I haven't finished the housework, and I have to look after the kids. I wonder if Jonathan could come a little earlier for me today. But even if I did phone Jonathan, there's only one thing he'd say. I would try asking tentatively. Is it fever? Could you come home earlier than usual? Fever? Who? Me. When I measured my temperature before, it was over 38 degrees Celsius. Really? Now that you say that, I've been feeling rough though. Perhaps I've also got a fever. Ugh. This habit again. I don't know why, but Jonathan has a habit where if I say I'm not feeling well, he announces that he feels even more unwell. Maybe I'm even approaching 39 degrees Celsius. It could be influenza. Maybe... Maybe I should take a leave from work. What do you think? After that, I didn't feel like messaging anymore and closed the messaging app. Such a bother. Oh, I shouldn't have sent the message. I'm home. Hewan, are you here? Of course, I've got such a headache. It's flu for sure. I've got these chills. Have you? Hewan? You said you were feeling well, but you look fine. Surely you can't feel as bad as I do. Hey, where's my dinner? So, you're unwell, but you still have your appetite? What do you mean? I can be hungry. Do you want me to die of starvation? That's horrible. Hey, I really do feel unwell. I have no appetite. I feel nauseous and my temperature is still rising. I get that you're feeling unwell too, but could you please consider how I'm feeling? Can't we just eat something quick and careless today? Are you not worried about me? <sighs> I did have the energy to talk back to him. Even if I complain, Jonathan always ignores me, so I decided to go to bed early with the children. The next morning. That's better. My temperature is going down. I still have a slight fever, so my head is fuzzy, but I won't need to rest so much now. With a sigh of relief, I woke up to go make breakfast, but what I saw in the living room was preposterous. Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Oh. I am stouted! You've fallen asleep while playing games, haven't you? Huh? Oh. Wait a sec, get up already. You're going to be late for work. If you're sleepy like that, I don't even know if you do have a cold. Huh? A cold? I, I do, I do. Um, of course, I still feel unwell. What? Um, my throat hurts a little, too, so I'm going to take the day off work. Hewan, can you uh, call work for me? First of all, take your temperature. Here, thermometer. No, I don't think the thing will show it accurately. I only bought it the other day. Um, yeah, but it's a household thermometer, so uh, you can't believe it. I... Ah! The more we chat about the this, the worse I feel. <coughs> well then, don't sleep out here like this. Go sleep in the bedroom. You should speak a little nicer to me. I'm a sick person. Yesterday I told you how sick I felt and you didn't worry about me at all. Yeah, that's because you're at home. You can rest whenever you want. Do you not know how hard it is to raise two twins? What are you saying? Uh, yeah. But I go out, so uh, I do more. Uh, are you not getting that I say I'm sick? For you, being sick is staying up later than normal and falling asleep on the sofa in your pajamas after drinking too much? Um, and if I'm sleeping in the bed, can you make sure to keep the children quiet? Also, don't would be good for lunch. 
Huh? Also, my fever might go up while I'm sleeping, so、uh, you should come in and check on me. Wouldn't you be worried if I die? In fact, maybe it's better if you did die, or at least that's what I wanted to say. Jonathan, you are not like you used to be. Before we got married, you were a kind person. I'm tired of this. I was grumbling from raising the kids on my own. Even if I have a fever, he'll say I'm more ill than you, and he never says anything nice to me. Jonathan, if you really are sick, then I will nurse you. But not if you say you're sick while you're playing games and falling asleep face down on the sofa. Since the twins you born, you haven't done anything nice for me, and I'm kind of sick of it. Why did you leave me to look after the kids while I was sick? And why did you make me help you instead? That's it. I wanna be able to rest. Hey, it's me. A few hours later. Ah,、oh, I slept well. Ah,、oh, Ewan, what's for lunch? Jonathan, sorry to intrude. Uh, father-in-law. I got a call from Ewan today, so I'll be looking after you. Well, 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 well you finally woke up. Ewan, wait, what are you doing? Well, you said you were feeling incredibly sick, didn't you? I didn't want the children to become unwell, so I thought I'd go and stay at my parents' house for a little while. What? Why so suddenly? I wouldn't want the children to have to see their father suffer. I was worried about you, but when that said, you would come and look after. I felt much better. I have plenty of years of military service, so I know pretty well enough how to clean. Leave it to me. No, well, actually. Thank you, Dad. Look after Jonathan for me. He sounds super sick. You、um, and. Of course, I could make him some gruel too. No, no, that's. I'm fine, really. Oh, really? So you're not unwell enough that you have to take time away from work? Um. Well, we're going to head off. Jonathan, rest and get better soon. Wait for me. You win. Jonathan, where are your pants and the rice too? Huh? Then could you show me how to use the vacuum cleaner? Ah,、oh, look at all this stuff on the floor. This is a lot of toys. Where shall I put this away? Um, I- I'll do it. You will, won't you? When I got back to my parents' house, I was still fatigued and ended up collapsing. When we got to the hospital, they diagnosed me with exhaustion. You've been pushing unreasonably hard. You should rest for a while. Yeah, raising one child is tough. But twins is another thing. It's pushed you to your limit. I think so. Thank you for saying so. I'll watch the kids. It was a relief to know that the twins were staying with my parents. Also, I got a message from your dad. Jonathan is feeling better now and will be going to work tomorrow. Hmm. Your father was enthusiastically trying to do all the chores, but couldn't do any of this. So Jonathan just did it all. It seems. Even though your father says he got years of military service, he's very clumsy. I imagine he was nothing more than a nuisance to Jonathan. I'm sure. I told your father to keep an eye on Jonathan's condition, so I'm sure two of them will be very busy with each other. While they're away, Hewen, you should get some rest and think about what you do next. Next, if you want to go back, then you can. But. If a wife is struggling, isn't it better to not have a husband that will get in the way? Ah,、uh-huh. speak of the devil. It's Jonathan. Hello, are you feeling better yet? You really need to stop this. I've been unreasonably insensitive all day. How? I got someone to nurse you, didn't I? You aren't you my wife? Why aren't you look after me? You always give all your attention to the kids and disregard me. Hey, Jonathan, when did you become so childish? Ugh. When I consider looking after children that aren't even one year old or a man in his thirties, I'd rather look after the children. Thus, but as I became more and more unwell, you would say you were unwell and make me look after you out of spite. You wouldn't even let me rest. Hello. 
Jonathan. You know, Huey was diagnosed with exhaustion today. That's why he's going to be here for a while. Exhaustion? Yep, but if I had my way, she'd be here permanently. I don't want my precious daughter going back to a man who doesn't treat her right. Huh? Huey is not your mother. I know that. Mom, that's a little quick. Well, how are you going to act on this? Look in your heart and fret on what could happen next time for me. You're right. I was thinking that perhaps it would be a divorce. Jonathan acted quicker than I would have expected. The next morning, he came to my parents' house to apologize. I'm sorry, I was wrong. Please forgive me. All of a sudden, you've changed? What your mother said to me yesterday is clear that I was treating you as if you were my mother. Since the children were born, you've been devoted to them, so I became lonely. If that's the case, you could have helped in looking after the kids with me. That's true, but whenever I helped you, would say things I didn't like. Helped? You barely even showed any concern for me. That, that's not it. Yeah, got it. Well then, I have one condition, and if you can cope with it, we can continue as husband and wife. Really? Yep, I I've thought a lot about it, and I think this is the most important thing. Three months later, you gotta chew it. Yeah, swallow. Yes, calm. Um, I'm not playing. Stop. Jonathan, when you finished, can you wash the dishes for me, please? Yes. From that point, we started living with my parents at their home. That was my condition. I thought it would be the best environment to raise the twins. From the outset, Jonathan was a little bit bewildered, but now he started to calm down and he no longer took the stamp on that he used to. We got to a point where Jonathan no longer irritated me. <sighs> I don't think I've got what it takes to look after the kids. You just have to pay attention and make sure they don't hurt themselves. But if I take my eyes off them, I don't know what they're doing. Ewan, I can finally understand how exhausted you were. Actually, I'm starting to feel a little bit ex... No, sorry. By living with my parents, the kind Jonathan that I used to know was coming back to me, and I was finally able to think about continuing my marriage with him.